Hello, I'm Greg Jamian, and welcome to Home Health Care Corner. As more people receive their medical services and care at home, there are many questions that pop up that sometimes require quick answers. I have put together a series of short segments with healthcare professionals that will help explain how things work along with answers to common questions found in home-based care. I hope you find the following information helpful. Welcome to Home Health Corner. My name is Erin, and today we have with us Janet Alderman. She's a nurse of Ameristaff Home Nursing. Janet, thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. Today we're going to talk about C. diff, and this is a bacteria that causes infections in the colon. Janet, can you tell us a little bit about C. diff? C. diff is a very common thing that you hear of people that um, are in the hospital can get it. Um, what happens is these spores or bacteria, it can stay in the earth or in feces. It's found in feces. The thing is the bacteria, can it's highly contagious and it can be spread from person to person. Um, the thing is what happens is the spores will get on like a hard um, surface like a table or it can be the bed rails in a hospital, something like that. Well, the spores can live a long time on that. So even if um, you think, you know, somebody had been in that bed before you, if they had C. diff, if they don't clean it properly, you can get it from there. Or it could be on a table or surface, or if you're going in the mall and you go up those escalators and you're holding on, that C. diff, can, the spores can live on hard, inanimate objects for a long period of time. And that's why it's so contagious and difficult to get rid of. Wow, that's kind of scary. <laughs> it is, but the good thing about C. diff is if you're a healthy person um, and you don't have a decreased immune system, usually you can take on oral antibiotic, Flagyl or Vanco, and it gets rid of it. So that's a good thing. Um, the bad thing is the oral antibiotics get rid of the active things, but the spores can still stay in your um, intestines for a little while. So you gotta make sure you take the full course of the antibiotics, don't stop when you're starting to feel better, all that good stuff to make sure you definitely kill it off and it doesn't reinfect you. Now what are the common symptoms of C. diff? The biggest common symptom of C. diff is watery stools or watery diarrhea and that means you're having three to four stools a day at least and that goes on for two to three days. So you can have a little bout of like a gastrointestinal thing, bug, you know, from anything. It doesn't mean you have C. diff. C. diff, if you've ever smelled the stool of a person that has C. diff, you know. It's very strong odor. It's very, it's different than your normal, you know, bowel movement smell. It's very um, watery, very, you really can tell the difference. Yeah. <laughs> so. Is there any pain associated with it? After you've had it for a while, you can get abdominal pain, you can get fever and chills. Um, the biggest side effect of C. diff is dehydration because all that nutrients and liquid is going through your body and so you can be, become highly dehydrated and then that can send you to the hospital because you're not able to keep enough in. So that's one of the complications. Are there any others? Um, Electrolyte imbalance mostly to its dehydration, electrolytes, those kind of go hand in hand. Those are the biggest side effects of C. diff okay. because you, you get rid of everything. So, And you did say that it's easily contracted, so it, this is something that is contagious. Very contagious. Um, the biggest way to prevent it is hand washing. Hand washing, if you're in the hospital, make sure anyone that's coming into the room or out of the room is washing their hands, even your family members, because they don't know what's been touched or what hasn't. Um, and also bleach, really wipe down things with bleach. Um, some of the sanitizers that we use now that don't have bleach um, won't kill it. So it has to have bleach to kill it, so. That's a really good point. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of people don't use that kind of stuff because they're 
even organic stuff, but bleach is what gets rid of C. diff because of the spores. You have to kill the spores. Um, and also like the alcohol, hand sanitizers don't work as well as hand wash, washing. just washing with soap and water. The traditional way of doing things. Yes. Right. Now, um, we said if you do get the antibiotic, is it important if you are feeling better? I mean, should you t take the full course of the prescribed antibiotic? Take the full course. Um, another thing that will help get rid of it is things with acid in it. So you've heard of um, people drinking vinegar. That helps because the acid will kill the spores. You, you want to avoid anti-acid anti, anti things like Tums or something because that gets rid of the acid. And then you're more prone to C. diff if you don't have the acid in your so stomach. So you want to keep that acid yeah, in. Yeah, because okay. that will help kill those spores. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you, Janet. This was yeah, very awesome. helpful. And if you have any questions about C. diff, feel free to contact our office at 248-288-2270. Thank you again. Thank you.